today we are going to drive a modern F1 car without the halo. Now as you know the halo has been a thing in Formula 1 since 2016 which you know was at the time controversial since then we've seen that it's worth the money investment and it has saved a lot of drivers in that time. However the one thing that has surprised me in the eight years we've had the halo in Formula 1 I've never once actually tried to drive a car without it to see what it's like and how it looks. So today we are going to put that experiment to the test guys, like the video, subscribe, links down below to the car and the circuit. We are into Lagos and we're going to go for a race with a current 2023 Ferrari without the halo. So as you can see we have the halo on screen right now and we are going to make it disappear in 3, 2, 1. Yeah this looks weird but I like it. I do miss being able to see the helmet all the way properly which is a shame that's something we have lost with you know the halo is the visibility of the helmets now one thing to note is that the halo structures are still in place which realistically if the halo did not exist they wouldn't be there however the side head structure which is to protect the driver's lateral you know view is probably going to be higher than what it is right now if we didn't have a halo in place anyway so that obstruction would still be there somewhat anyway this is the off-world view. Let's get into the race, check it out from on-board, and also we'll mix up the camera views to see what it looks like from different angles. Oh wow, this is, um... I don't really like this. You know, I think I prefer the Halo. Anyway, we'll, we'll dissect that in a little bit. Let's get into the race. Guys, if you're going to enjoy, like and subscribe. We're about 1,500 subs, guys, away from one. 100,000 on the channel so if you want to help me get there and you're new to the channel I would massively appreciate your support on this video but yeah on the way and as you can see we have a grid of Ferraris but mine is Haloless so we're gonna stand out from the crowd anyway currently trying to find some grip tires are really cold you can see in the bottom left there they are as blue as blue can get so just trying to find a bit of confidence here in this low grip situation I've also got the track grip reduced a little bit which should make things a little bit more fun to watch and a bit trickier to race so we have to fight the car as you can see they're locking the rears p14 though already good start as we get re-overtaken there by one of them i'm gonna try and stick my nose into the second hairpin here locking the rears every time power down on the exit back end slipping but we're gonna get a run and we're gonna go up the inside into the final corner we're now P13, so very good stuff to be fair, very good start. Hopefully we can get these tires fired up. And we will use DRS, so that we're in parity with the AI, and we can have fun. So yeah, six lap race. We're going to do three laps in this view, and we'll switch to cockpit for the remainder of the race. So we'll get a bit of a, you know, deferring perspectives in this one. Lovely run out two and three. We're going to open the DRS as we race down to four and we're going to go three abreast i'm not gonna commit to that i do not trust the assetto corsa ai through we go though and we're going to get them both on the exit and that is going to give us p11 up the inside of the double rights to lock in that double overtake good stuff so far very good stuff as for the view as i mentioned at the race start i don't think i like it you know I think I prefer the Halo, it actually suits the cars, I mean these, you know, new generation F1 cars, 22 and 23, the noses kind of just fall away a lot more at the front compared to the, you know, 2021 pre-spec cars, so I think that's why it looks weird, the nose looks really short because of those noses that fall away on these modern F1 cars, so I think the Halo actually helps mask that and look, make it look a bit more balanced if that makes sense also the halo has evolved of course it's the very first prototype we've seen you know they look a lot more like they belong in f1 now the way they're designed and all the little winglets the teams put on them and all the sponsors and you know some of the teams choose to color them some don't so uh, i think that does help just tie it all together and also some elements of the car shape are designed so that they kind of flow with the halo in terms of aerodynamics so yeah i definitely think I personally prefer the Halo, but let me know what you guys think, your thoughts and opinions down below in the comments. We'll switch the copy view on the next lap. Either way, currently on the cusp of points and pretty much slap bang in the middle. 
11th out of 20. Trying to see if I can get some moves done here, but they are now off to speed, so they're usually pretty decent. Once that happens and you get past the first lap. Also, my battery level's a bit low, but we're going to get a nice run at the final corner here. I'm actually going to whack the battery mode into charge to see if we can get some ERS back. DRS open as we pull up our side, racing down to turn one. Trying to lock the rears as we go for the move. And there it is, P10. And through we go, we might get one more here. Before we do that, let's switch to cockpit view real quick. Right then, so I just got re-overtaken, trying to change some settings, but here we go then. Now, we get to switch views, and visibility, obviously, is unreal. So much better. Admittedly, I'm quite zoomed out, but it still helps, you know, give you the feeling of more space and just better visibility. I just hope it doesn't affect my pace. Anyway, try and see if I can catch back up. We're going to have to get in those two places back and fight into the points. Again, so back down to P11. And there's two laps to go. We've got one car behind us chasing us down. So we're not out of the woods just yet. So let's try and get our head down. We've got two laps to try and make this work. I'm confident we will. Just got to adapt to the camera view. There we go, that's nice. Breaking on point. Keep it in third, drive off the curb beautifully. Gained a big chunk of time there. Open the DRS. Try and get some slipstream and close in down to turn four. Gonna dip to third really quickly there just to get the drive off the corner. And now we can knock the ERS into charge. And we can now start to save before the final lap push. Gaining quite a lot through there outside maybe try to have a look but no way through maybe here though we might be able to go for the lunge bit of rear locking but it's a it's a send and we make it work slow air contact on the way through but it's a nice move can we nick p9 here we're gonna crank up the engine mode here to try and waste no time and get this move done. Battery's a bit marginal, you can see on the dash, we're on, into the red, so we don't have a ton to work with. But here we go, we're getting the run. Can we get close? Rear locking again there, trying to have a little look on the inside. Really good through there, so strong. On the exit, we're going to pull to the outside and open the DRS. Trying to go through side by side. in space as we go around the outside still start by side and I think we're gonna get in front now through here she tries to re-challenge but we make the move stick and we lock it in so there we go happy days right job done for us let's try and close out this race as we make a mistake into the second half in there lose the front end, locking a front. Then three cars ahead, just so close. Shame I couldn't get a bit closer there. Lost a bit of time with the camera transition, but anyway, up to the line we go. Let's bring home P9. Fireworks go off as we open DRS for the final time. And there we have it. F1 without the halo. P9, not bad. P20 to P9 in six laps. Decent recovery drive and a lot of fun. So there's your lot. Managed to get a little chance to adjust the camera on the in-lap and this looks a lot better now. This will be a lot more realistic of a view. Probably you want to be even closer to the dash than what I am, but for the sake of the video, so if we have some visibility, this is probably a much better representation of what it would look like. And it, it does give you just a lot more space. You feel like you're not as, you know, closed in, which is a good and a bad thing, of course, in F1. But that's what the Halo is there for, to protect. And that's the key thing we can never forget. It's not about looks, it's about, you know, how effective it is. And at first, while the Halo was not popular, the reality is it's very effective and has saved a lot of lives and has been very effective in protecting drivers' health. So the Halo's here to stay, you see it in every category. And to be fair, it looks a lot better now than when it first did.
But there we have it guys, that is it for today's video, trying an F1 car without the halo. I can't believe it took me eight years to do this, eight years. I never once thought to try it, but we've done it. Let me know what you think in the comments down below guys. Do you prefer it? Do you like the halo? Do you not like the halo? And uh, yeah, can it be improved possibly? Who knows? Either way guys, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Down below you're gonna have links to the mods for this one, so for the car and the track, go check those out. As always, like the video, subscribe. Like I mentioned before, we're so close now to 100,000 subs. And as always, a big shout out to the members of the channel for supporting the content that I make. Finally, the two videos on screen guys, give them a watch. Let me know what you think. And yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed. See you soon, take care, and let's goodbye from me.